Now, I want to talk about all the overnight breakthroughs, people that weren't doing anything, and then suddenly they started doing something, and then they just became successful overnight. Yeah. Can you please tell me about all the people that you know like that? Well, there's this supplement. <laughs> if you take it, um, I'm kidding. Yeah. There is no such thing as an overnight breakthrough. Like right. that's that's the that's the point. Is what gets covered and what makes it in the newspaper and what's reported is the overnight breakthrough. But what you don't see is the months and often years of work where there was very little observable progress behind it. Yeah. Almost all scientific breakthroughs, breakthroughs, see, right. even I said it, right. they rest on years of work and of false starts and also of, um, of, of I, I don't want to say luck. Maybe there's a word for it. I'm sure like a philosopher of science would know the word like unintended consequences. So these these current weight loss drugs like Wegovy and Alzembic, right. it's kind of an accident. Like they weren't meant for weight loss. And right. now I just saw some article that they might show promise for addiction, yeah. like broadly speaking. <laughs> but this was like a drug that was supposed to change like insulin receptors for diabetes. Right. And weight loss was like something that people just saw happening and it wasn't a bad thing. Um, so now this breakthrough drug was 20, 30 years of research and like some unintended consequences that might work out really positive. Right. But we all call it a breakthrough. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's the nice. mRNA vaccines that were a breakthrough, right? The woman, Catalin Carrico, had been working on mRNA technology since 1970. Right. But it's a breakthrough. Yeah. Have you ever had, and I hate to call it a breakthrough, but have you ever had a breakthrough in thinking or, or some sort of breakthrough in thought or something like that, personally? Um... Yes, but it would have never happened without the prior thinking where there wasn't a breakthrough. Exactly. So the breakthrough thought is contingent on all the kind of more boring unbreakthrough thinking. Right. Do you do you feel comfortable talking about what that breakthrough was? Oh, I mean, I have breakthroughs all the time. Yeah. What's your most recent one? My most recent breakthrough is um, it's probably this concept that I used in um, in my next book. Yeah. That is, it, 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 it circles around some of the topics we're talking about today, too, because it's very much like a continuation of groundedness. But there's a lot in it about identity and like how to think of identity over time. Mm. And the main term that I use is rugged flexibility. Like you want your identity to be rugged and flexible. Right. And when I first had that thought of like taking these two paradoxical things, ruggedness and flexibility, and putting them together, as that describes what an enduring identity is, right. that was like this, there it is. Yeah. Now, I had that thought on a hike, and it just popped into my mind because that's how creativity works. And that was a breakthrough, but I had been thinking about this and trying to come up with something for like six months prior. Right. So it wasn't actually a breakthrough. Yeah. Um, I think I wouldn't call mine a breakthrough. I would call mine a breakthrough in thought. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it might be pathological, you tell me, but, um, you know, I, I came to a point where. I realize that no one is coming to help me in terms of doing the work, right? Saying no one's coming to help you. Your parents aren't coming. Your mm. friends aren't coming. There's no one coming to help you achieve what you want to achieve. Nothing is going to fall in your lap. Yeah. You have to go and you have to do the work. The, the, wh what's the saying? The, the boats are burned. But in my case, it was like, my thought was like, there were never boats in the first place. Mm. Right. Yeah. It's just like you just got to do the work and that's really the only option. Yeah. Right. And that was sort of my breakthrough realization, which I had. I forget exactly when. Probably a couple of years ago. And um, I think that's shifted my mindset a little bit for the better or worse. Yeah, it's it's so I think that one, I think that that's mostly factually accurate. Okay. So I think that hard work increases your surface area of luck. So I don't think anyone just makes it from hard work. I think there's always luck along the way, but you can't make it without hard work. Right, exactly. So yes, I think that that's right. It's also funny because um, I coach a neurosurgeon mm -hmm. who is um, who I love and, and is brilliant and obviously has a very intense temperament, but he talks about how it, his fellowship program, all the fellows get T-shirts that just say no one else is coming. Yeah. And right. like, it's that mentality. And I think like in neurosurgery, like you're like the buck stops at you when you're in surgery. And I think that that is both really empowering because it's true, but it also puts a lot of pressure on yourself. Yeah. And there are people that help you along the way. So it's not either or, I think it's, it's both ends, but 
that that kind of breakthrough in thinking then changes your behaviors, right? Sure. Because now like you're not waiting on other people, right? Or you're not you're not thinking that your success is going to be contingent on these things happening. Right. You're just, like you said, you're showing up and you're putting in the work, and and sometimes it'll work out and sometimes it won't. And there brings a sense of responsibility too. Yeah. Right. If like you really go all in on that thought process, and there's a sense of responsibility that and meaning that comes yeah. from it, regardless of the outcome. Right. So you could do everything under that mindset to make something happen and it might work out great and it might be a quote unquote success or it might be a total failure. But if you gave it your all and you did the work, then you've kind of like already won the inside game, which is what's important. Right. Yeah. 